Uh, obviously, we were still working on the LV7, but we're waiting on parts, so we are going to put our lift pump on because we have it. Uh, I bought this from one of our local diesel shops. Um, great people there. They're awesome. If you need stuff from them, let me know. We can get you in touch with them. So, we have our sump kit. Uh, this is a bean machine right here. Uh, so we're gonna put that in. Got the 165 Fast here, uh, with gold series, titanium series, whatever it is. I don't know, so we've got some crazy name for them. Anyhow, we're gonna open this up and we're gonna see what we need to do. Um, obviously, my diesel fuel is all drained out right now because uh, we just ripped all the lines off. So, ooh, look at that. Got all sorts of fancy stuff. So, we got a box thing here of goodies. I got some fuel line. This looks pretty nice. We got a bunch of fittings. Um, so, the guy said not to use this return here. Uh, one, because we got the um, sump kit already. So, we're not going to use this, this goofy looking piece. But everything else looks super nice. These little bags where I work at. We got our wire harness. Um, so I am getting a power distribution block for the truck so we can run all of our accessories off of that. Um, but we got that now. Set that to the side. Let's set all this on the ground right now. It's like a lot of work. Can't wait. Alright, let's pull this out. Nice. Oh, look at that nice cutout for the packaging. And we have the pump right here. The filters. They're a little different. I thought they came with a water separator. Interesting. Set that to the side. And all the way here in the bottom. We have the mounting plates. So these go on your bed. You can use to mount it. We're gonna pop a bunch of this stuff out here. We even got a sticker. All of our information. Put that back in there, throw our filters in, throw our pumps in. We don't need some of that stuff right now. Now let's open up this here sump kit because this will actually be the first thing we're going to put into the truck. Uh, this one is supposed to come with um, the hole saw. Yep, so this one comes with the hole saw. Ready to rock and roll. Some a Vulcan one. Ooh, fancy pants over here. This is a honking block. Woo. Okay, so that's how it goes together. That's kind of interesting. Unscrew it here. Oh, we got a little machining thing here. That stinks. Should still be okay though. I don't see that being an issue. information all right so this is what our sump kit seal so that goes on there this goes on here and this is the two hole one so in and out here's our fittings got a bunch of different sizes which is super cool sorry for being all washed out camera can't figure out what it wants to do here block off a bunch of different stuff I'm sure got instructions in here somewhere. Oh yeah, there they are. Well, let's take a gander at these. You have a nice clean flat spot to work on your fuel tank. All right, we got that. Sweet, all right, well, we are going to start working on this. We're gonna get the sump in first, and then we will start working on mounting the pump. Let's see if we get this in.
putting in our new pump here. <laughs> this is exciting. This is a behemoth of a pump. Can't wait to get this thing in. Probably gonna be a pain in the butt. We put a bunch of dielectric grease on it, so hopefully it goes in okay. But let's see. Okay, that went a lot better than I thought it would. We got our new fuel pump mounted in here, ready to rock and roll. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is start working on this side and get all of our um, return fuel lines on there. We got most of them ready. We got the one, and then we'll put our lower valve cover on and start getting everything else set up. Ooh, this is gonna be sweet.